Well, welcome back. Dumping the Democrat Party after running as a Democrat for president in 2020, and then again running for New York City mayor earlier this year, Andrew Yang says he's now leaving the party to launch a new party, and he's also out with a new book. The book, Forward, Notes on the Future of Our Democracy. Andrew Yang joins us right now to talk more. Andrew, great to have you. Thanks so much for being with us this weekend. Tell us about the position and why you left the Democrat Party. Thank you, Maria. It's great to be here. We can sense in our country that polarization is getting worse than ever. And unfortunately, the incentives are going to make it such that we're going to wind up with violence, strife, uh, and even a new civil war. I mean, it is that serious, political stress at civil war levels. So I left the Democratic Party to bring the temperature of the country down uh, because if you're a business person like I am, you, have, you follow the incentives. And right now, the incentives are leading us toward the extremes. We have to make it so that the incentives reward the people who want to live in the reasonable middle. And I think that's most of us, certainly most of the people watching this broadcast today. Well, I could not agree more. I feel like, uh, you know, it's a head scratcher these last several years with so much hatred among us. Most people I know, most people that I think are watching are sort of hanging out in the middle. They may lean to the right on some things. They may lean to the left on other things. But we all agree on, on things that would make the country better. I mean, you are a businessman, and so you actually deal in policy, have run a balance sheet. Tell me about some of the policies that we're seeing currently that frighten you most in terms of creating a bigger government state. Well, Maria, I, I want to return to why it is that we're so angry all the time, why it seems like, like, like madness, unfortunately, is the rule of the day. And it's because of one word, incentives. If you're an elected legislator right now, your job is not to make 51% of the people in your district happy. It's to please the 20% most extreme voters on one side or the other. Because of the way our system is designed, 83% of our seats are safe seats. So that's why you see these legislators who don't seem reasonable, because their incentives are actually making them less reasonable. And this is leading to the dysfunction, the gridlock, and unfortunately, the conflict. So uh, I love talking to your audience because I think they understand organizations. And we've set this organization up of our government, our legislative branch, to fail and also to drive us insane in the process. Yeah, and, and you know, you look at what's going on right now, and people are feeling this. I mean, you know, some of us think about policy over here, but the truth is, is policy and, and, and certain, you know, incentives that you refer to in the book have actually impacted American families across the country. You talk about the unextended employment benefits, for one thing. They went away, and now we've got an employment situation that is actually real, that we can see in terms of people going back to work, you know, getting paid the way they were, rather than getting all of this free money. What do you want to say about these incentives when you look at, for example, this new reconciliation package that the Democrats are trying to push through? Well, I'm a huge fan of the bipartisan infrastructure uh, package. Uh, and for the life of me, you know, if it passed the Senate on a bipartisan basis, uh, I feel like that's a, a no brainer and should have passed already because that's going to create jobs. It's going to create economic activity. Maria, most Americans just want things to work and work better. Uh, and I started the Forward Party in large part because we're not set up for success right now. Centrists feel politically homeless. You know, one thing that I love talking about is that 62% of Americans want a third party. And if you imagine being a business person and you showed up at a marketplace and there were two major companies and 62% of people wanted an option, you'd probably want to give them that option. It's just that right now our political system is set up to make that difficult, but not impossible. And we have to take this opportunity because the country needs a third voice in the middle more than ever right now. I know you got a lot of support when you were running for president from Silicon Valley. Do you look at Silicon Valley and look at big tech and have issues with some of these censorship conversations we're having? Maria, the single biggest issue I think we should all have with big tech is that it's making us miserable. It's making our kids depressed. Our data is getting sold and resold for hundreds of billions of dollars, not to our well-being, certainly. And so 
we're, right now, we're having these conversations and these tech companies are essentially doing what they will. Um, we need to have more modern leadership from government working hand in hand with technologists and industry leaders and psychologists to develop rules of the road. I mean, the, the internet uh, has exploded since Section 230 was written now decades ago. And at that time, Facebook didn't even exist. You need a much more modern approach. But the single biggest concern to me is that it's making us miserable, it's making our kids depressed. I mean, what kind of uh, a, a product uh, are we building when literally like your, your kids are, are sad instead of happy as a result? Andrew, are you gonna run for public office again? Maria, right now I am super pumped about the Forward Party, forwardparty.com, and that's where my attention is. I want to try and open up some of these primaries in 2022 so that we can bring the temperature of the country down, bring reasonableness to the fore, and hopefully get some like-minded people into office. All right. The book is Forward Notes on the Future of Our Democracy by Andrew Yang. Andrew, it's great to have you. We hope you'll come back soon. Thanks very much for all of your efforts in this regard.